Mila, <clears throat> this story is called The Princess and the Peas and Carrots. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who liked everything just so. Her name was Rosebud. In the morning, Rosebud made her bed, then arranged her stuffed animals on the pillows. She chose her own outfits and was quite particular about what she wore. Nothing itchy, nothing woolly, everything soft, and preferably in pink or purple. When Rosebud went to her art table, first she lined up her crayons, then she began to draw. If she made a mistake, Rosebud crumpled her paper and started over on a clean sheet. Rosebud loved to play dress up. Her favorite costume was a pink satin gown and she wore it with purple plastic slippers, gold bangle bracelets, and a silver crown. And when she paraded in front of her father, he said, here comes the good princess Rosebud. But good Princess Rosebud wasn't always good. I'm itchy. If sand got inside her bathing suit, she insisted on a change of clothes. If snow drifted into her boots, she complained. My socks are wet. My toes are cold. If there was a little hole in her tights, a wrinkle in her sock, a little pebble in her sneakers a little label in the collar of her shirt. She fussed. Now what's wrong, Mom says. Her mother said, from now on, I'm calling you Princess Fussy. Mealtime could be difficult if there were lumps in her oatmeal, Rosebud yelled. If there were seeds in the grapes or pits in the watermelon, she pushed her plate away. If there were greens in the noodle soup, Rosebud insisted they be removed. Her big brother yelled, stop fussing and eat. At one family dinner, Rosebud's mother served roast chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, and peas and carrots. Rosebud glared at her plate. The peas were touching the carrots, and the chicken was on top of the mashed potatoes, and the gravy was touching everything. Rosebud shoved her plate away with both hands. She was surprised as everyone when her entire meal landed on the floor. What a mess. Her mother said, I've had enough, Miss Fussy. Leave this table and go right to your room. Rosebud threw her stuffed animals on the floor. Then she tossed the pillows, the quilt, and the blanket. Rosebud kicked and Rosebud screamed. Rosebud's mommy and daddy heard her cries, if, and only if, you stop screaming, we will help you. Rosebud calmed down. She said she was very sorry for making a mess in the kitchen and in her room. Rosebud wanted food and a nice, neat bed to sleep in. I won't be able to sleep in this messy bed, she says. Rosebud's mommy straightened the sheet, fluffed the pillow, and remade the bed. She checked under the mattress and found a tennis ball and a pink sock. Rosebud arranged her animals just the way she liked them. She ate peas and carrots and chicken, too. Then Daddy said, I'll tell you the story of the princess and the pea, Daddy began. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a real princess. He met many princesses, but it was hard to tell which one was real. There was something about each princess that did not seem right. Though they said they were princesses, the prince did not believe them. One day, a wet and soggy princess came to the palace. She said she was the real deal and asked to spend the night. The king and queen arranged for a secret test. They asked their servants to hide a pea under 20 mattresses. In order to make the test even harder, 20 feather beds were added atop the mattresses. By the middle of the story, Rosebud's eyes began to close. She was sleepy, and so was her daddy. Please finish the story, daddy, she said. Don't go to sleep yet. In the morning, the queen asked the princess how she slept. Good morning, dear. How did you sleep? I didn't sleep at all, not for a minute, 
The sheet was wrinkled. The blanks were, blanket was itchy. The pillow was hard. The mattress was lumpy. And something made me toss and turn. The queen thought, who else but a real princess could detect a tiny pea under 40 layers? So the next night, the queen ordered her servants to give the soggy princess the most comfortable bed in the palace, and she finally got a good night's sleep. Rosebud tried to go to sleep too, but she tossed and turned, and she got out of bed and whispered, Daddy, I can't sleep. There's a lump in my bed. Rosebud's sleepy daddy got up from his chair, and he checked her bed, and what do you think he found? A marble. Look what I found. Who else but a real princess could detect a tiny marble under all those sheets and blankets? Nobody but a rosebud. A real princess, too. <laughs> that was cute.